Did you ever wonder what were some areas that tripped folks up on their CPC exam and caused them to miss questions? Oftentimes it is due to not following the guidelines or not fully understanding the concepts. Well, in this video, we will look at missed coding concepts, starting with the integumentary system, specifically lesion excisions. Happy New Year. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key. And on this channel, we provide you with information, tips, and strategies on how to become a certified marketable medical coder. If you are new to our channel, well, welcome. And if you've been rocking with me for a while, welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications. And also give us a thumbs up so that we can continue to provide you with this type of content that hopefully is helpful for you and those that you share the information with. So let's talk lesion excision. You may want to follow along with your CPT book, especially as we review some codes. Lesion excisions, are in the integumentary system, which is in the 10,000 series of the CPT manual. So excisions are, are usually full thickness, meaning that they are through the dermis. And it includes the removal of the lesion, the margins, and simple closure. Now, before we dive in, let me test your knowledge with a poll question. So you'll see the actual poll question listed here or here, somewhere on the screen. Click the poll to answer the question. So what do you think? Are simple repairs included in lesion excisions? Yes or no? Now stay till the end of the video and I will provide you with the correct answer. So this is just a diagram of the actual layers of the human skin. You have the dermis, which is the second layer of skin, the epidermis, which is the outside layer of the skin, and full thickness actually is both of those layers together. The size of the lesion is important and it is determined by measuring the diameter of the lesion and when applicable, the margins. The lesions are also identified by their morphology which is whether it is benign, and those codes are in 11400 through 11471, or malignant, 11600 through 11646. The codes are further defined by body areas. If more than one lesion is excised, each lesion is reported separately. If lesions are excised on different anatomic sites, don't forget to use the appropriate modifiers. Remember, simple repairs are included in the excisions of lesions. Next, let's look at how the lesions are measured and coded before we code a few scenarios. Here's an example of a malignant lesion of the back that measures 2.0 centimeters. The margins are 4.0 centimeters each. The total excised diameter is 10.0 centimeters. The code 11606 is for excision malignant lesion, including margins, trunk, arms, or legs, excised diameter over 4.0 centimeters. So that would be your correct answer. So you have your excised diameter, which is the lesion plus the margins at 2.0 centimeters. You add both of those margins together, which gives you 8.0 centimeters for the total excised diameter of 10.0 centimeters. You have, it's a malignant uh, lesion. A melanoma is malignant and it is of the back, which is part of the trunk. Okay, next. is an example of a benign lesion of the scalp 
that measures 2.0 centimeters and by 1.0 centimeters. The margins are 0.1 centimeters each. The total excise diameter is 2.2 centimeters. So you have the lesion plus the margin, which is at 2.0 centimeters and 0.2 centimeters, which gives you 2.2 centimeters. Code 11423 is for excision, benign lesion, including margins, except the skin tag, unless, other, unless listed elsewhere, scalp, neck, hands, feet, genitalia, excise diameter 2.1 to 3.0 centimeters. So, we have an excision of a 5.0 centimeter malignant lesion of the right arm and an excision of a 0 0.7 centimeter malignant lesion of the left arm. We know the sizes, 5.0 centimeters and 0 0.7 centimeters. The morphology, they are malignant and the anatomic sites, they are on the left arm and on the right arm. Now, how many codes should we have? We should have two codes. Each excision is reported separately. The codes are 11606 and 11601. Should we have a modifier? Yes. We should add modifier 59 to 11601. Modifier 59 is used to indicate that a distinct procedure was performed on a different anatomic site. So there you have it, information on excision of lesions. Keep in mind, you do not have to memorize all of this information. This information is readily available in your CPT book, a book that you will have with you as you sit for your certification exam. It's in the guidelines, in the guidelines, in the integumentary system, right before the code selection. So for the um, excisions for benign, there's a, a section of guidelines that gives you this, all this information. And right before the section for malignant, it gives you all of this information and more. So it's up to you to make sure that you read the guidelines, that you understand the guidelines and do enough exercises to be able to apply the guidelines. Next week, we will look at another area in the integumentary system, wound repairs. I'm Clarice Warner, the girl with the pearls, the founder and education director of the Professional Reimbursement Network, LLC, where coding education is key, providing you with information, tips, and strategies on how to become a certified, marketable medical coder. If you are interested in more information on these tips and others on how to become a certified marketable medical coder, then check out these videos and check this out. Are you interested in medical coding, but not sure where to start and scared of wasting time and resources? Let me help you with the right steps to become a certified marketable medical coder. Learn more at bit.ly slash five steps coder. Feel free to subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications when we upload new content. I love hearing from you. So please let me know you were here by leaving a comment answering questions. I have poll questions. <laughs> Let's stay connected and connect others. The answer to the poll question is yes. Simple repairs are included in lesion excisions. Remember, be safe, be kind, and don't wish for it, work for it. Until next time, take care and thanks for watching.